Hey everybody, we're back with more Breath of Fire. We're in the stone robot. We got his heart beating, but we gotta get to his brain. So now these teleporters are all active. You just have to find the right sequence of teleporters. It's usually the one furthest away from you. See? See, not that one. That one. Although, you know, now that I think of it, a couple of the uh, wrong ones do bring you to treasure chests. So let me start this over and just go in the wrong ones on purpose. Because I'm seeing the treasure chest and I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, let's do that. Alright, now that one just brought you back to the beginning. There actually are enemies in this area, but the encounter rate is so low that it would be very surprising to actually run into any. I might run into, like, maybe one or two enemies throughout this whole thing. And plus, every time you teleport, it resets, so, you know. Let's try this one. Yep, there we go. Look at that. We got an acorn. Acorns are always useful. Replenish your ability points. There are certain points actually much, much later in the game where that would be useful. All right. Rockin' tits. Just at GameStop, I just came back from there. My account was all screwed up. It actually took them quite a while to fix it. Still not, like, completely fixed, but... It's workable now. Let's see. What do we got here? Life 2 and Marble 1. Marble 1, I believe, is a guaranteed critical strike. Let's, let's find out. Oh, wrong button. There's Marble 1 and there's Marble 3, and there's actually a Marble 2, but it's extremely rare, and I don't know what it does. This will produce one perfect hit. Yeah, I think the Marble 3 is to avoid enemies on the overworld, and the Marble 2, I don't remember what it does. If I do run into a Marble 2, I'll try and figure it out. But they're so rare. I think they're only enemy drops. Alright, here we go. The key works! So that'll get the robot going. Robot, take us to the lake. Robot, kill. No, just take us to the lake. Robot, kill, lake. Well, Nina, I don't know. He doesn't seem to listen to you very well. I love he's just walking up those cliffs like no problem. Not the greatest cinematic in Super NES history, but pretty workable. What would have been cool is that after this scene, if you see just like huge footsteps and crushed trees and rocks and shit in the area that he walked over, that would have been cool. It's like a trail of destruction from him walking. That's not the rock. When I first saw that the first time, I thought that was the rock. It's actually a dry waterfall. That's the rock. Let me just stand directly in the path of the river that's about to come through here. When we destroy the rock, we'll restore the river. Robot, use your power to destroy the rock. Robot, kill rock. Ah, uh, okay, I guess. It's not really alive, but... Go ahead, kill the fucking rock. It's like Gort. Oh, snap. Robot, get out of the way. You just got washed away. That actually explains how it winds up near Tantar. Ryu, we did it! Yes, now we can return to the village. So let's do that. Uh, what level am I? Alright, level 14's not too bad. There's actually a, a really insanely hard boss coming up. It's like basically the wake-up call boss of the game. It is possible to beat them. It's just probably the only part in the game that's actually hard. This is actually a very easy game, uh, but there's one part that's a bitch, and it's coming up very soon. Uh, I have another dungeon to go through before that, but yeah. Is a Warhog? So yes, yeah, so it's not down by Tantar and Tantar. It's later that it winds up there. Oh well. Alright, Nina reaches level 13, hit points up 6, ability points up 6, strength up 1, vigor up 3, agility up 1, wisdom up 2, luck up 1, and she learned the warp spell. 
And actually, you know what? Since I just learned the warp spell, I'm going to use it. As I said, when I learn the warp spell, that's when I'm going to go back to Camelon and see if they've uh, rebuilt the town. They never rebuilt Drogon, but Camelon does get rebuilt, and there's some like new stuff going on there. Yep, you can tell from the music. <laughs> Check it out. It's all rebuilt, people are dancing, having a good time. Relax and have a good time. This is Camlon. This is, yeah, I know. Ryu, close your eyes. It's Ryu, you're our hero. Yeah, there it is. Thank you, Ryu, our kingdom has thrived with your help. Relax and have a good time. Watch closely. The hands are quicker than the eye. Uh, that's frame rate issues, man. Relax. Relax. <laughs> have a good time. Our hero is here. Let's sing, dance, and celebrate. Yeah. You can actually go around the castle, talk to that guy, but I'm sure he, I don't think he's got anything interesting to say. But I do believe there's a couple of items to get, so we'll go in the houses and check that out. Yep. Yeah, right here. Marble one. Okay. That's a critical hit. Guaranteed critical hit. Okay, once again. Proton A. The hell does that do? <laughs> I don't remember what a proton... I remember Proton B. Attack power. Okay, alright. Proton B is defense. I knew that. I like the song. You don't get to hear it that often in the game, though. Let me check the inn. I don't think there's anything in there, but... Oh, there is. Look. Yeah. Anytime you see that chest of drawers. Agility potion. Definitely going to use that right away. I'm going to use that on Ryu, of course. Alrighty, then. <laughs> Nothing there. You can eat the apples, but... <laughs> Slightly pointless. Nothing there. <laughs> yes, I will keep doing that. This has got it upstairs, though. <laughs> yeah, there is something there. Dark Kiss. Hmm. Trying to remember what the hell that does. It... Yeah, it just says you could use it during battle. I, I, I think it might curse the enemies. <laughs> I don't remember, though. It's one of those junk items that I wind up selling, usually. Alright, and this is... Ba -ba -ba. Well, the wisdom potion. I'm hanging on to the wisdom potions for now because there's one particular character that benefits greatly from the wisdom potions. We don't have that character in the group yet. Okay. Get over here. We can live peacefully now all because of Ryu. Yeah. All I do is kill a frog when you come down and think about it, you know. I believe there's something over here. Or not. I, I really thought there was something under that. Weird. I might have already gotten it. Oh god, get out of the way. People. Oh. <laughs> Ryu, we are having a celebration to wish you a successful journey. You're going to be having a celebration for the rest of the game. The king believes in your strength. He knows that you'll defeat Zog. That's it. I think I could warp from here. Nope. Gotta get out of the town. I'm gonna warp over to Tantar. Even though Tantar is where I want to go, I think. But, uh, you can't warp to both towns. Yeah. 
When you get warped to a town, that usually means something bad is going to happen to it. Warriors, all fate is in your hands. So cheers, fuckface. Alright, so let's go talk to uh, the Tuntar Chief, now that we got the river going. Oop, just walked the wrong one. As you can see, this place no longer sucks. Dark Dragons destroyed the bridge of the port town to the south. Well, that's just a bunch of balls. Everybody's already in the house. It's, it's dark already. Let's celebrate our freedom of the wedding for Terry and Amelia. Oh, so I gotta go to the other city. Alright. So I gotta go to Tantar. So Terry and Amelia are gonna get their creepy furry sex on. But that will move the plot forward. And we got a creep. I'm a creep. I'm a weedy. Boy, that kid is totally not cool. What's up, bro? This is Tantor. We're in the forest clan, huh? I don't know why I imagine him talking like that. I just do. Rock and or roll. Ryu, you should look for the ring. It is hidden in a cave upstream. Just gonna push this over there. I don't know why my chair didn't fall down that hole, but there you go. Key is down below. Yeah, I think you gotta get the, the ring before they have the wedding. Herb. And I got the key! The key, the key. It's not a goddess key, it's just a key. Rock and roll, baby. Alrighty then. So it's that cave, like, kind of where the robot wound up. There's a zombie! 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 Oh, come on, you couldn't just... You, you did stab him in the head, I mean. Seriously? Alrighty, then. And a rock and or roll. Pretty straightforward dungeon, all things considered. And we got a wisdom potion. We seem to be getting a lot of those. I'll hang on to that. This isn't even the dungeony part. It's the next part. It's, you know, actually got like enemies and such. Yeah, this part right here. Crip. Open sesame. The teleporter's dormant right now. Can't do anything with that. Mm -mm. Yeah, Tantar gets destroyed. Luckily, everybody's at the wedding in Tantar when it happens, so nobody dies. Okay. It's like the G.I. Joe cartoon from the back in the day. Everybody shot at each other, but nobody actually died. <laughs> nobody ever got shot. Did the worst aim ever. <laughs> Alright. So start by jumping off a waterfall, because, eh, why not? Sploosh! Uh, do I want to go in here? Or just check this real quick. Let me come back to that. The good thing about being in the water is there's no enemies. There's a life. I got a life! Wonderful. Two zombies. Come on, Nina, what the fuck? Let's 
Slam! I guess son of a biscuit. His <laughs> two blurbs. Come on, Bo, Gary, Gilliam, whatever the fuck your name is. It's a slug. Never mind the bow and arrow, just fucking step on it. Now I'm thinking I should have. I should have gone in that staircase. I don't know. He's an me blob. I'm not sure, actually. I'm like doubting myself here. Use a little healing, huh? Well, let's do that. Oop. Kira, Kira, Kira. Yeah, see, there's another staircase over there. That's the. All right, so you know, let me grab this treasure chest. I'll go back and see what that other one was all about. I don't remember for some reason. There's two amoeba blobs. Let me not fuck around this time and use the Earth key. Earth key! One down. You do that healing shit. Oh, that's balls. That'll do it, though. Balltacular. That is just a s fucking sack of balls. Life too. Oh, yeah, let me go back and see what that was all about. I don't remember that staircase even being there, to be honest. Come on, Gary! It's a slug! Step on the fucker! It's like that movie where Arnold Schwarzenegger was fighting the devil, and it's like, can we really believe that, like, Satan is gonna have such a hard time killing Arnold Schwarzenegger? Like, I know Arnold Schwarzenegger's a badass and everything, but, you know, never mind all the magic and the brimstone and all the fire and the ma you know, don't, just get a gun and shoot the motherfucker. I mean, oh, wrong one. I mean, come on, let's, let's, you know, I mean, how hard is it to kill a guy? If you're the devil, I mean... Let's see if there's anything around here. We got an enemy blob! Slam! Ow. I did more damage without the slam when he healed himself in the last battle. Bloody hell. There's nothing here, is there? Oh, that's to get back up if you wanted to get back up the waterfall for whatever reason. Now I remember why that's there. So I just like basically went all over the place for no reason, whatever. Here's a Zard. It's extra experience, extra gold. I don't get too worked up about it. Zard guard. I got a cold stone, and that has absolutely nothing to do with ice cream. And yes, I will make that joke every time. It's kind of not a common item. Any chance I get to make that joke? There's another Zard Tard. Zard! Zard! No, Zard! Alrighty then. Alright, another Ami Blob. Fuck you! Slam! Damn right, slam. Okie dokie, Finoki. Almost there. Another Emmy Blob. After this battle, I'm gonna stop the video and move on to the next one. 
Recover! Alright, there we go. Okay, so I'll see you guys real soon with the next part. Keep an eye out.